there is in your life many competing voices. You need to learn how to sift them, to know which ones speak truth, which ones speak error, which ones are for your good, and which ones are there to deceive you. Unless you're willing to change, the Holy Ghost will not speak to you. It didn't make sense to me until I went into the book of Jacob and I went into the book of Jerem and read about stiff-necked people who had hard hearts who would not listen to the prophets. A hard heart and a stiff neck is evidence of an unwillingness to change and hence the Holy Ghost does not speak. When we give more reverence to our culture than we do to our covenants, our casualness will bring unintended consequences. You see, for most of you, Satan knows he cannot confront you with the big sins. He will get you, just as he said in the book of Nephi, with his flax and cord. He will desensitize you. He will make lots of black and white seem gray. Part of a great start, part of having an ennobled soul, is to learn to obey the simple things, including the dress and grooming standards at this college. President Bednar says, for those who in your heart feel like willfully rebelling against the honor code, he said you should go somewhere else to school. He said you will not be happy here. And he said, quote, you have no claim on the resources of the church, close quote. I ask you, if you don't have a testimony of it, to accept it on faith. Your education is important to your Father in heaven. I know that some of you come here with great hopes about the future because you know what it is. I know that some of you arrived in Salt Lake City with the last nickel in your pocket. I know that some of you have come here in great faith without support of parents. But I promise you, you may have hope in good things to come. And so do not take counsel from your fears. Be of good courage. Have faith. Start this semester strong. The Lord will be with you. I pray the Lord's choicest blessings to be upon you this semester, and I do so in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.